Ah. Watch it. Dang it. Blah. Where's the rest of your game now? Too slow. Gotcha this time. It sounds like somebody's drawing some circuits. Now my turn. Yeah. Rock 'em, sock 'em, robots. Ah, uh, so. Your hearing angels are ridiculous. Oops, looks like I just voided your warranty. Look at me, bitch. Ah. I believe the time is now. Thanks, Bentley. Look, I'm sorry about the nothing. No, Sly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there to help you guys the whole time. It's okay. She fooled us all, pal. I guess. But that's no excuse for me not being there. I lost sight of my true friends. That won't happen again. Uh, hey! Guys! Uh, we could use some help over here! Sounds like they need some help getting out of there. You know anyone that can swing that? Well, I do know this one guy, but he's probably busy, so... I guess I'll have to do it. <laughs> It's good to have you back, Bentley. Our Penelope. Giant robot battle. Well. We contacted Dimitri, who started in about sandstorms and camel spit. Well, we finally deciphered enough to realize it was my ancestor Salim al Kupar who was in trouble now. Okay. Which meant we needed to get to ancient Arabia on the double. This time, Carmelita provided the solution. Before the Paradox grabbed her back at the museum, she'd managed to pocket a gold coin as evidence. And our luck held, as it turned out the antique gold piece was exactly what we needed. As we prepared to leave, everyone was keeping an eye on Bentley. He downplayed his heroics and refused to acknowledge that he'd saved us all. I sensed a new confidence in him, which I guess had come from finally confronting his personal demons. Oh, jeez. He'd been through so much, but when it really mattered, he bounced back stronger than ever. I was sure about two things. I couldn't be more proud of Bentley, and we were going to need every ounce of his newfound strength to take down the paradox. So what do we do with the rat? So what are we gonna find out about this guy now? We'd traveled to ancient Arabia to find Salim al Kapar, an ancestor said to possess the stealth of 40 thieves. No surprise then when Bentley's research revealed that this guy was a charter member of the infamous 40 Thieves. For once, it appeared we'd have plenty of backup to help out with this job. When we arrived, however, we were shocked to find that most of the thieves had already retired. Having made their fortunes and gotten older, these great thieves had decided to call it quits. Yeah. Enjoy the golden years in peace. What wasn't shocking was the unmistakable presence of Cyril the Paradox. Nasty looking guards patrolled everywhere, and it was clear that something sinister was going on. After some detective work, Bentley had even worse news. No one had seen Salim al for some time. 
He'd been working with a few of the remaining thieves, but had simply vanished. So where was he? That was the first thing we needed to figure out. The fifth chapter. Forty thieves. Huh. Where's some of the sneaky snake hideout? There's some abilities. Oh wait, there's no more abilities. This Carmelie is not one to pickpocket. We still haven't figured this out. And, and another costume. It's an Arabian one. Well, the first thing we gotta find is a few bottles. Our guards are for this area. What the heck? Something changed here. Oh crap. What's that? A squirrel? Ow. Hey, is that a female? Is that a girl? Looks like one. And a thing over its mat head, her face something.
interesting. And it looks like, well, yeah, we already figured out that he's already here. All those. And get to our mission. 